coming up on today's episode of Airborne Uncrewed. FAA grant to help Embry-Riddle researchers improve drone safety. Divested Global Hawks to advance hypersonic research. And NASA SpaceX target update launch date for cargo mission. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Uncrewed program, a weekly news program covering all things uncrewed, in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Uncrewed Vehicle Systems International. Let's get into today's stories. FAA grant to help Embry-Riddle researchers improve drone safety. Researchers at Embry-Riddle, the private aeronautical university with campuses in Vero Beach, Florida and Prescott, Arizona, have received a $371,000 grant from the FAA to study the in-flight air traffic detection systems of uncrewed aerial systems. The research seeks to determine means by which to improve the safety of such systems as their widespread implementation looms imminent. The research will inform the development of standards and requirements for the sensitivity and accuracy of TCAS-style detect-and-avoid systems which will improve safety, especially in instances comprising contemporaneous operation of multiple UAS in a common airspace. Extent technology provides neither autonomous nor remote piloted UASs sufficient data by which to differentiate between birds, kites, centerfield flyballs, etc., and genuine threats such as other aerial vehicles. Inaccurate or misleading sensor data gives rise to an overall lack of situational awareness inconsistent with widespread implementation of beyond visual line of sight missions in the national airspace system. By better establishing the capabilities and limitations of contemporary airborne platforms, cloud-based infrastructure and user interfaces, Embry-Riddle researchers hope to provide the FAA information germane to the proper regulation of near-future UAS operations. And after the break, EAA objects to controversial drone UAV rule-making report. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. EAA objects to controversial drone UAV rule making report. EAA has submitted written comments following a recent public meeting on an advisory and rulemaking committee final report that provides recommendations to the FAA regarding the integration of beyond visual line of sight operations by UAS into national airspace. EAA also noted that there are a substantial number of crewed aircraft operations that occur at low altitudes which the recommendations seemingly ignore, including ultralights, backcountry flying, seaplanes, and rotorcraft. Pax River MQ-25 team completes first lab integration exercise. The Navy's Unmanned Carrier Aviation Program Office, PMA-268, conducted its first lab integration event June 28 through 30th at Pax River to demonstrate how the MQ-25's ground control station will command the unmanned aircraft in the carrier environment. The government team and its two prime industry partners led the effort at the program System Test and Integration Lab, where Lockheed Martin's GCS controlled Boeing's hardware-in-the-loop air vehicle for the first time. The HTIL utilizes aircraft hardware and software to provide a realistic surrogate for the air vehicle. Michigan sees first real-world UAS cargo delivery operations. Two technology companies and a healthcare network have come together to conceptualize and operate a short-term uncrewed aircraft system cargo delivery operation. 
Mission Go Unmanned Systems, a company with a focus in uncrewed aircraft systems, and Airspace Link, a UAS technology and infrastructure company, in cooperation with Beaumont Health Spectrum Health, Michigan Economic Development Corporation, Next Energy, and a sounder of Detroit politicians, have announced the completion of a successful 10-day flight operation showcasing a real-world UAS transportation program in southeast Michigan. Navy's BAMS-D UAV comes home to roost, finally. The U.S. Navy's Broad Area Maritime Surveillance Demonstrator is a high-altitude, remotely piloted surveillance aircraft built by Northrop Grumman. The vehicle is the naval iteration of the U.S. Air Force's celebrated Global Hawk. In 2009, the Navy deployed BAMS-D for a six-month concept demonstration in the 5th Fleet. The mission was extended dramatically, however, as the region's socio-political landscape grew increasingly complex and volatile. 2022 marks the 13th year and long overdue conclusion of the BAMS-D mission. That's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Divested Global Hawks to Advance Hypersonic Research Grand Sky Business and Aviation Park, America's only UAS-specific business and aviation park located at Grand Forks Air Force Base, will accept 20 Global Hawk unmanned aerial vehicles from the United States Air Force's 319th Reconnaissance Wing. The move is part of the Air Force's Block 30 divestment plan, a scheme by which the service seeks to dump extant multi-million dollar assets for purpose of obtaining funding to acquire multi-billion dollar future assets, or as the Air Force puts it, restructure intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance assets to meet national defense priorities and assist in funding modernization and increase capability to counter threats posed by peer competitors like China and Russia. To date, Grand Sky has taken delivery of four Block 20 and five Block 30 Global Hawks. The final 15 specimens of the Northrop Grumman High Altitude Remotely Piloted Surveillance UAV will be transferred to the facility by July 31st. While at Grand Sky, the divested Global Hawks will be fitted out with new and different sensor technology before being allocated to the Sky Range mission, a NASA undertaking that will see the aircraft perform ground and flight operations specific to the development of technologies and systems germane to hypersonic flight. Upon completion of the retrofitting program, the test aircraft will be redesignated Range Hawks. After these messages, NASA SpaceX target update launch date for cargo mission. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available on the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. NASA SpaceX target update launch date for cargo mission. NASA now seems ready to launch the next Cargo Dragon mission. NASA and SpaceX now are targeting no earlier than Thursday, July 14th for launch of the CRS-25 Commercial Resupply Services mission to the ISS. The new launch date supports ongoing Dragon spacecraft inspections as well as repair and replacement of any components that could have degraded by exposure to monomethyl hydrazine vapor found during testing. In order to allow a more detailed off-vehicle inspection of the parachutes, the SpaceX team made the decision to replace the main parachutes on this spacecraft. Following concerns, additional inspections and testing of the Dragon spacecraft were conducted after teams measured elevated vapor readings of monomethyl hydrazine in an isolated region of the Dragon propulsion system. After offloading propellant from that region, SpaceX was able to narrow down the source of the issue to a Draco thruster valve inlet joint. 
The new date also allows for launch of the uncrewed cargo mission for the earliest possible rendezvous opportunity with the International Space Station, following the upcoming high beta angle period when the sun angle with space station's orbital plane causes problems with thermal and power generation at the microgravity laboratory in the planned docking attitude for visiting spacecraft. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.